everyone, today I'm going to talk about the gigantic, basically, a fast-moving, triple-ion, older-carrying, blasting machine, which is nuclear bomb-proof. I'm going to talk about the tank. Okay. Now, these hardcore machines are nothing to mess with. Let me tell you that. They can fire. First of all, what is a tank? Well, a tank is a heavily armored a fighting in machine which is bomb proof that's exactly what a tank is the first tank that was ever made was little willy the, and tanks were also made by the british royal navy and the french car manufacturing company by launson mall i know oh the biggest question do you think they're male or female yes there are male and female tanks Males are six pounder er, er guns, and which have the strongest. But females are, are, are Gatling gun and tanks, which can and rapidly shoot. Which means males are quite powerful. Females are, but are quite powerful too. They are quite powerful. That's a lot of powerful for one word. Can tanks damage a road? Yes, tanks can damage a road. Their treads can whip up and their weight will cr can crush entire roads. So you better not be driving a tank. And if, uh, not unless every day you want to pay 5,000 D. Are tanks still used today? Yes, tanks are still used today. 60,000 are still active, in fact. The most tanks that ever, are ever known are... Drum roll, please. Russia. Russia has the most tanks in the world. Russia. The most dangerous tank is the T E nine N O A. Russia and tank. It's very dangerous. Why were tanks used? Yes, tanks are used like in wars. You might know that. But what you might not know is the British actually it disguised the tank. The name tank is it sounds like tanker. Tankers are water truck trucks. So this is entirely meaning that the Germans like thought that was a tanker, aka a water truck, carried hauling water. But but they are actually in fact not. So when the Germans were laughing, they got blasted in the face by gigantic bomb-proof machines into its treads. It's that can reach, how fast can they go? 20 to 25 miles per hour max. That's quite fast for, for a, a tank made out of I, titanium steel, hello, and aluminum, steel, and ceramic, and iron. The tanks have a bathroom. Judging by ceramic, no, they don't. Ceramic is also used for making toilet seats, but it's no. This is not used for toilets. It's used for the last layer because ceramic is easily shaped, which gives a tank its easy shape to maneuver around on with. Yes, exactly. So, and are there double barrel tanks? Yes, there are double barrel tanks, but are incredibly hard to manufacture, judging by double barrel, which aka to two barrel firing. This includes twice as heavy loads and cannot reach the top speed as a regular tank. Can tanks run over trees? Yes, they can. Bigger tanks like the Leopard 2 and Abraham's M's can and run over big trees, like at 55 centimeter thick trees. Can tanks go to a forest, judging by they can run over? No, actually it's quite difficult for a tank to go to a forest, but they can go to a forest, but it's incredibly difficult. Because there are trees which are thicker than, and, than tree diameters, which includes a tank's weight is, is like 60 tons. And God, there are many roles in a tank. Tanks can have a driver, a commander, gunner. Those are the three eight things which always will be in the tank. But there can be a loader, which it controls the, uh, which controls the amount of bullets and and bombs. Yes, as tanks can also fire bombs. 
I'm sad. And the soldier. Some for this is the the soldier tanks are the last line of defense. And these guys will radio if have a radio in them and to the bigger war tanks. They will if they but they but they are quite tough. They are tanks, but if they need real help like the Leopard 2 or the Abrahams will catch the signal and come over rushing to help. Yes, these are war tanks. There are different types. Of if you want, you can also call a tank killing a, a rampaging bomb-proof of machine. Technically, they are not that all bad. They can actually have a toilet. Some rarely a tank will ever have a toilet. The most, most, most modern ones have a toilet. This is ridiculously reduces the amount of defense and in their in a tanks tanks power. So it's very hard for a tank to defend itself if there's a toilet in it because they will need a proper wastage system and they cannot just drop poop in the battlefield. Okay, that might sound unkind of the What you what? I take it in. No. Okay. Um. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, press that notification bell so you're always notified when there's a new video. Bye!